tonight we welcome you to the gateway to the west inside Chaffetz Arena, which is already rocking here in St. Louis, Missouri. Just talking to Kevin Willard before this game, said there's really no time to relax. They know how good St. Louis can be as Powell feeds the out and misses from long range, and it comes out to Miles Powell. They like the freshman, Gibson, Jimerson. Great jump shooter. They missed fire in that one, skipped over the rim. And Powell has been quiet. I don't think it'll be for long. Feeds inside, and Ike Obiagu. And he's only taken one shot. But he's made plays because he's drawing so much attention from the defense. Drives this time, gets blocked by French, and then draws the foul. Arena, 7 Eastern, 6 Central on ESPN2, and the ESPN entering that ankle against Stony Brook. Last Saturday, Gins from the free throw line, can't get the roll. Miles Powell with a head of steam all the way into the bucket. He can play downhill. Seven, 245. But Seton Hall can always have a couple of guys on the floor, maybe even three that are taller than him. They come hard to trap Powell. And Powell fouled going up what the Billikens needed to try to chip away. Well, you don't want to foul someone 30 feet from the hoop. But it's my small type rankings. Reese and the guys will break them down from top to bottom. And coaches. Miles Powell for three. Miles Powell quietly with. Well, here's the problem with the 1 3 1. You got to find number 13, or he's going to. Now they're running Powell the baseline behind the zone. And the three try is good. Miles Powell. Now with 11 points. An assist for freshman. And he's been great so far, has Collins. At this time, draws the foul. The freshman, you mentioned the assists, fifth in the nation, early going, but he's got tape on both of his hands. His thumbs have been hurting him, and that cut off the court in pain. And as you mentioned, got to make some stops. And obviously, shoot at much more efficiency. And this big man here, French, He's got to get some touches. He has it rejected by Gill. Back the other way with numbers. Powell is fouled on the way up. By Powell picks it up and it starts the fast break for the Pirates. Miles Powell at the free throw line now and into single digits at times in the first half. This has been mostly controlled by the Pirates. Then they push it to 18 to three. Collins playing injured. On the drive, McKnight leads off. And now Miles Powell, the three, splash. That was an afterthought. Powell's just floating around the three mark. Hey, man, I saw the arch. It looked great. For a Cubs guy, that had to hurt. They got the division this year. What can I say? Here's Miles Powell. Drills another three. Is that sweet? He comes off that tight curl. Gives his third personal. Strength. And then they sprinkle in Tyree Samuels, number 21 out there now. He's coming in as another seven footer. Powell on the drive draws. When Powell got hurt in that game against Stony Brook, he Tony Testa, the trainer. He had him ready to go for Michigan State just a few days later. You're a fan of Seton Hall. At least early. Interestingly, because St. Louis is such a different team this year, the one thing that Seton Hall really could look at for this game was the way that Miles Powell was defended. But apart from that, it's a pretty different roster for the Billikens. Well, five of their top seven free throw. Just to get a few to fall, I would think will really help him. Oh, Mamukalashvili. Young team when this game ends. So the Seton Hall Pirates rebound from that tough loss to Michigan State with an emphatic victory over the St. Louis Billikens in Chaffetz Arena this afternoon. So for Kevin Lehman and our entire ES.